Hi everyone, it's Shari Kati again. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. This channel is all about lifestyle. I love culture, art, and I like to talk about, you know, living a good life in general. I want to thank you for supporting this channel again, for watching my videos, for subscribing. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so this video is a quick video talking about what I intend to do with my November. So last year, I celebrated um, some Nigerians that were doing amazing things in the field of um, chocolate, chocolates, yeah, making of chocolates and in um, creative arts dance. You can watch, um, you can watch the video of um, the chocolate um, factory I went to, a Nigerian, a Nigerian made chocolate that's really hitting the bomb here. You can also watch. Um, a short video of Isaac Jiga who is teaching people hard of hearing how to dance K-pop. I also have a podcast in regards to Isaac Jiga's story so you can you know listen to the podcast and then try to make a watch the video to have a, a better understanding of his work. It's super amazing. So November is like a year a month why do I keep saying yeah? It's a month of consolidation for me. That means that I am seeing how that I can look at the plants I made for the year and then see the places that had a um, few lapses and try to put them together. That's what I am doing in November. So I'm not really a big fan of writing um, resolutions. I feel like you can start your life at any point in time. Although, of course, it's meaningful when you say, okay, I'm making a res resolution um, beginning of the year and then you see how you can you know walk down through the year with certain plans in mind it's really good it helps so it all depends on how you work but for me I just I'm not particular about years I just look at the seasons of my life and I walk um, according to that so recently I was writing um, I was given an assignment in the course I'm currently running on in Futureland. The idea is you to write um, what you see of yourself in the next five years. And I did that. But I didn't write it in the light of in the next five years I should be, I will be, I do this, I did this. No, I wasn't projecting. Instead, I was speaking from five years. So I was saying, oh, so far I have done this, I have done this, and I've done that. Honestly, that altered my mindset. It made me feel like, God, you have to get on with this. If you're saying you have done this, then you should get on with it, right? So normally I would say I have plans for my five years, but I'm always good at not writing them down, which is really wrong. It's wrong to not write your plans because why wouldn't you not write your plans? It has a way of, you know, you forget. And when you have them written down, is a way you can always go back to them and see okay so far so good what have i done it helps you to checkmate you know your excesses it has helped me in that way so when i wrote this five-year plan yes i realized that okay there are some certain habits in my now that i have to start developing to be able to achieve that five years plan i was talking about so when i did that i wrote down those habits and immediately i just felt this 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 energy to get at it one of it was I needed to be consistent with my reading I am so inconsistent with reading there are months that I can read like mad and then there are months that I barely even open a book and I, I love to buy books honestly I fall in that category of people that like to do things for the love of it I like to roman uh, to to flirt with my life I like to make everything look romantic so buying a book feels romantic to me going out to see friends feels romantic like everything is just romantic for me I know it sounds really funny but that's how it is for me so I don't have a problem with going to buy a book but sometimes there's not a problem of reading because you get carried away by other things so I had to tell myself well if I am claiming that I am so and so in the next five years then I might as well you know get on with the study because I had claimed in my five years that well I read yes so 
I got books that were specific to the things that I needed to develop for my five years. One of it is communication skills. I love to communicate. Even though I am not an extrovert, I wouldn't say I'm an extrovert, I would simply say I like to talk about things that I like to talk about. So when you find me talking about things I really love, I am all out. And when it's not something of my interest, well, I struggle, yes? but. In the world we are in, communication is very important because nobody's an island. You need to have um, your ability to relate with people. You need to be able to help people to see and to understand you, yes? So because of that, I decided that I was going to um, you know, do more uh, development on my communication skills, especially when it comes to having those hard communication, those hard stuff. Talk about those hard things with your spouse, with your friends. It's always hard to give feedback to your spouse and friends because you are aware of, you know, the emotional outburst. They may be defensive. You may not know the right way to say the right things to say and stuff like that. So I found this book, which is the Art of Communication: Your Competitive Edge and why I bought it was because it helps you to not just consider your audience, you adjust your communication style. Um, you learn conflict resolution. That was like the major thing for me. And again, learning how to create a comfortable environment for communication. So this is my one of my book for November. So the aim is to at least read two books each month. And the second one, of course, is finances. Honestly, I think this year I have done some... Um, really wrong oh, actions i have taken some really wrong decisions when it comes to my finances and i like this book because i like how the writer um, smart money arese wrote um, about money now she didn't give us the standard from grass to grace concept no she she painted a picture of well um, we are in our industry we are making it big and that's where we're trying to you know I like that concept I also like the fact that she talked about money in a way that is more of a story so you can find yourself in the characters and try to adjust if need be and it's just it's not just about the money it's about relationship how that relationship is also um, a form of wealth how that money making is actually action it's an action so it's getting on with the actions you know um, talking about black tax and all of those things so I like these two books another thing that I have been doing is um, from my five years plan is I had to go back to reading like really taking on courses is this this thing of tell you when you're doing free courses there's this thing of you forgetting that oh um, I'm, I'm studying because feel oh my god it's free you know or you know when your money's in it all of a sudden you're like oh god my money my money my money but I I'm taking on some free courses and I look forward to you know taking some that I would um, pay for later but it's just this realization that you're adding value to yourself. You're seeing life from a different perspective. Now, if you feel like your education is not sufficient, of course, education can never be sufficient. It's good to have other experiences of how people are learning internationally in other parts of the world. And so I'm looking at myself in the next five years and I'm saying, okay, I want to be vast in some um, in some topics. I want to, I want to be uh, a leader in my field. And the best way to do that, to be honest, is by, you know, taking courses, seeing, um, learning, experiencing, you know, so that's what I'm doing. The third thing I'm doing in light with um, experience is I'm learning to <clears throat> go to places that will add value to me. So this is not just networking, it's about exploring if you don't have the money to travel abroad oh well there are lots of things you can explore in your environment to help you you know develop you can explore online you could you know develop your experience make friends of people that are in your field in other parts of the world just so that you know you can have an idea of how things are done in that you know that spare of life so I decided to from my five years of course I am now being conscious of experience and um, in September I explored a couple of um, 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 art spaces and I, I realized that the more I went the more I was finding you know new stuff about me 
apart from that it's not just art spaces i realized that anytime i go to a new place it's not the new place you find actually you find something about yourself you realize that okay I, I, so i'm not really a fan of heights but i like depths you know stuff like that it exposure has a way of making you realize more of yourself and i love what um cindy trim she said she said that cindy trim said that the more you find yourself the more unstoppable you become because you're no longer a cheap photocopy of another person social media wants us to become um, we can find ourselves becoming like other people on social media but imagine when you're just your authentic self and you're living life you know the best way god has planned it for you you become unique and beautiful and the insecurities and all of those things we tend to hold on to honestly we just fade away because you found your authenticity on authenticity ah oh god i don't like that word authenticity yeah that's it <laughs> you find your authenticity oh, uh, authenticity yeah you find your authenticity exactly <laughs> great so um you know in general i feel like uh the year is coming to an end yes and a lot of things are happening people are going through stuff um economy changing of the naira the uncertainties security and while we're trying to catch all of those things and try to find solution to them we shouldn't forget to develop ourselves because the more the problem the best thing to do is to rise to meet the problem or to be above the problem not to be under the problem so there are always going to be challenges but the problem is what about you are you are you rising above the challenges or are you staying under the challenge if you keep complaining to be honest nothing is going to change to only be worse and when it goes worse well well it won't get better so we now have to consciously take our our decisions to make life better so yep that's what i'm currently doing that's what i'll be doing in november i have a couple of books to read i also have um some networking opportunities i look forward to running to and by the end of the month i'll be auditing my life my resources my finances like my entire being to see how i have been managing it all but most especially and importantly guys do not forget the people in your life i am learning that consciously that it's important to build healthy relationships i am so guilty of wanting to be an island but the truth is in life there is really no person that is meant to be an island the more you isolate yourself actually the more you die the more you're killing yourself so today you know this month those people that you've just dumped aside those friends that you've just pushed aside because you felt oh my god i'm trying to build my life to help with the world it's really high time to like you know get on with them because you will need them yes they may not have the financial resources to support you but just knowing that you have people can be of great help go to that friend's wedding if you can call that friend call that family member don't wait for them to call you and then you'll be like well um you're just calling me you know like don't do that call them see them be you know just be amazing all right everyone i do hope you have a lovely november and please stay safe build your happiness and confidence and peace within do not allow the things around you to take charge of your mind or else you're going to break and really break and really get broken so everybody au revoir and yohika say bye